Hello, this is Cardboard Geek. Uh, this is a Water All unboxing of Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun, the third in the sequence of games. Um, after Zolkin and uh, Teotihuacan by Daniel Toschini. Uh, all have something to do with the passing of time. Uh, I wasn't sure about this game when I first went to get it, but then I noticed it had a solo mode, which intrigues me because given the current situation, it's kind of important now. And I've been seeing a lot of play of this on um, Board Game Geek, Stroke, uh, Board Game Trade, and Chat UK. Uh, it piqued my interest. However, for some reason, and I feel an idiot for it, I thought it was Mayan. Um, I don't own any of the former two games by Toschini, but I have played them. Um, I'm not particularly brilliant at Zulkin at the moment. I'm still really learning, and Tia Tia kind of quite like. Um, so this kind of nudged me into actually buying it and i'm hoping to play this some very very good friends who also liked it and was a bit annoyed that i grabbed the last one <laughs> high coloring in um <clears throat> but that said uh i will now unbox this i've already taken the shrink off because uh i don't think anyone wants to see me fumbling and risking damage in the box um for various reasons right so uh, let's get it opened up anyway oh tight lid. Um, so the first thing that strikes me is, now everyone's going to think I'm going to say the obelisk, but colouring in is going to particularly notice that it'll be the baggy, because I kind of like games that have a baggy involved in them. But yes, the obelisk is rather impressive. I've had a few complaints about this. Uh, some say that although it's visually impressive, it can be a little annoying, much in the way of the tree from Everdell. Um, I'm very inclined to consider painting this, um, but I don't know whether to go sandstone and wash it, or whether to go gold and wash it. Maybe suggestions in the comments? Um, anyway, so, some nice dice, uh, look pretty well made. They do remind me of the dice in Black Angel, uh, particularly for the colour schemes and everything. But, uh, no, those are nice. Um, obviously this is a dice drafting game, I'm not on many dice drafting. Uh, if you excuse possibly um, Black Angel in that. I'm not a fan of overly dice-heavy games. I'm going to admit this. Um, uh, though I have enjoyed some. Five-year mission, uh, Black Angel. Um, I've had a dabble with Troys. Um, I like the idea. Uh, I just haven't really managed to have a decent game of it. Anyway, so we have components. Nicely bagged up. All... Uh, well, they all have their own zip locks, uh, wooden components, which is nice. You, you know, the feel of wood is far superior to plastic. It's just obviously nowadays plastic is sometimes a little more practical, particularly with the uh, particular bioplastic PLAs that are used in a lot of 3D printing. Um, and we have a sequence of cards, uh, which uh, I'm just going to remove the top one. And... Uh, Linen finish, nice. Uh, I don't want to get them out too much. Um, oops, let's not knock the camera over. That would not be a good idea. So these are warts and all. I do not edit them. Uh, so uh, let's just adjust that leg. There we go. Right. <clears throat> so uh, is this reference sheets? Let me have a look. Yep, reference sheets. Uh, always like that, and they're actually very nicely produced. Nice graphics on that. Oh, and uh, rule book. Now I've heard the rule book is well laid out. It looks it pretty clear, nicely and thematically put down. Now I have previously seen a review run through with Rado. Um, Ooh, I'm doing it again. And he did complain that there's not a lot of um, background on this, and I actually have to agree. Uh, there's quite a few games out there. I mean, uh, the one that immediately springs to me is Uwe Rosenberg's uh, A Feast for Odin, which has a lovely um, section on history. And I can remember having a copy of Kingmaker quite a while back which had a lovely history of the War of the Roses. It does add to it, I think. And I think in some games it adds to the theme. Uh, Egyptian theme I'm a particular sucker for. I don't have many games with Egyptian theme other than Kemet, though. So, and now this. Um, and 
Oh, all sealed up. All the things. Now, biggest complaint I've heard about this is the components for resources. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing what they mean because they are literally just cardboard blocks like this. I have a feeling if I'm going to play this a lot more, I am probably going to get in contact with spiel material and probably get a few uh, wooden pieces to replace uh, items such as the gold and the papyruses and uh, I believe that's limestone. But that said, love the artwork on it. Player boards, sunken areas for your resource cubes, the balance, which is very important for this game because you have to balance your imp your tainted and your pure actions so let's move that aside because what we really want to have a look at is the board don't we let's face it and it's all it's good thick board um nicely laid out in various areas it is very reminiscent in my mind of um teotihuacan i have to think before i say that because it is a little bit sorry empty box pick there uh, it is, in my mind, very reminiscent of it. Obviously, it's not a Rondell style game, and Teotihuacan is. But in the centre there is that big hole where you put the shade disc that rotates here, and the obelisk, which is what brought up the general complaint that if you're sat, you won't be able to see properly which dice are on the opposite side. Um... See so yeah, how that comes out of playing. We have a thought, um, uh, Horus over there just having a look. Just seeing, you know, Hathor, I think it is, Bastet, Osiris. Um, and is that one set? Well, well, I'll look in the book and find out. But they all add little bonuses, and it's all just very, very nice. Um, altogether, very happy with the quality. I'm going to admit, I will agree with criticisms about the um, cardboard piece for resources, but that's easily remedied nowadays, uh, even if you just replace it with coloured wooden cubes. Uh, that would work quite well. Um, yeah, so in that case, that's Takano uh, Obelisk of the Sun. It looks good. I can't wait to actually get this out and play it. Um, I think we're going to have a very good time with this game. So, uh, like, subscribe, all the usual, urge him a flip, um, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is Cardboard Geek signing out.